Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we are back with another lore video. Today's topic is the Purple Hand, a mysterious chaos cult. So without further ado, let's begin. At the appointed time, we shall rise from our secret places. Chaos will cover the land and we, the chosen servants of Chaos, shall be exalted in his eyes. Zinch, changer of the ways. This is but one of many liturgies to the Chaos God Zinch, of whom the Purple Hand worship as their true god. The Purple Hand is by far one of the most active of the Chaos cults, with their influence increasingly spreading across the human kingdoms such as the Empire, Bretonia, and more. So far do their talons dig that their members find themselves infiltrating the ranks of priestly and knightly orders. They are the merchants you purchase from, the commoners you speak to. They are the Purple Hand. The cult's origin is unknown, for like their patron god, the cult is shrouded in half-truths and half-lies. Many speculations rise and none truly even know when the cult became active. What is known, however, is that the Purple Hand may be one of the largest, if not the largest, active Chaos cult. They influence the many human nations of the Old World in very numerous ways. For the Purple Hand is divided into numerous cells, spread across the Old World, acting somewhat independently. For the various branches of the Purple Hand will have different interpretations of Zinch's will. There are so many branches to this cult that communication between all of them is almost impossible. And with more cells being formed every single day, some just clearly do not even know others exist. You see, these branches, known as cells, are small groups consisting of nine members each. But one should not think that there are only nine worshippers of Zinch in that city. You see, in various cities there could be multiple cells working, either together or independently. With acolytes of these cells sending messages to one another, should one of the cells be compromised, it is quickly destroyed. To ensure that no information is leaked to any officials or to the public, for the Purple Hand is a secret organization. Their symbol, as you could guess, is a bloody purple handprint. It is both their symbol, and in some cases, their calling card. The Purple Hand has a number of goals, each varying per different cell. But a seemingly reoccurring goal throughout the cells is to overthrow and then dismantle the Empire. Through lies, bribes, extortion, and even murder, the members of the Cult of the Purple Hand find themselves in positions of power. Members of the Purple Hand have found themselves in the hierarchy of certain temples to Ulrich and Sigmar. Some have been found infiltrating the knightly orders of the Empire, and others spread their poison to the noblemen and the common folk of the Empire. None can be sure on how deep their influence runs, for the ever-secretive cult rarely ever makes itself known. Being recruited into the Purple Hand, as you can imagine, is not very simple. Candidates are screened and their loyalties are tested again and again. These candidates are normally held by means of blackmail and will act as messengers for the cult. Should they outlive their usefulness and prove not to be wholly loyal to the power of Zinch, they will be murdered. And finally, once a month, the cells gather in secret locations to invoke the power of Zinch, perhaps on the ninth day, as nine is sacred to Zinch. The cult's acolyte will lead the congregation in a series of sharp phrases such as those which were said at the beginning of the video. When complete, he slices his hand open 
with a ceremonial knife. His blood would then be drained into a bowl, and then he will instruct the members of the cult about the newest plot. The acolyte will sing praises, chanting on how the changer of ways will reward them, for as each day passes, they draw ever closer for the empire to fall. When all is said and done, the members of the cells will come forth and drink from the bloodied bowl, while the others will chant in demonic tongue, always chanting, Zinch, Zinch, Zinch. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our lore video. I do apologize for these little mic bursts. I don't know why it's been happening, but it kind of fits. Maybe Zinch is trying to keep me quiet. With that being said, thank you so much again. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all again very, very soon.